Hey guys, Buffy Game Bad today, bringing on a video, and today we are going over the future of DMZ with it being integrated into Modern Warfare 3, same as we're seeing with, with the Warzone integration. Warzone taking over, obviously, with this new iteration of Warzone. Uh, gonna be a seamless transition. Warzone being free to play, DMZ also being free to play, and why there's some new leaks here that are suggesting that we're going to be getting DMZ transitioning into the Modern Warfare 3 gameplay style, weapons, and everything like that. So, jumping into it here. Recently, we heard an, an announcement from Infinity Ward that DMZ would not be making the leap, at least initially. They would, didn't really clarify, but they said it would continue to get support. Also, remember that it is in a beta. So, this has been a hot topic, especially with Zombies mode coming. Now, with the Zombies trailer, if you look at that Zombies gameplay trailer, this is, and especially Westy did a good video. I know Westy is a uh, fellow creator who loves DMZ almost as much as myself. Um... And really, he was, he's basically saying in his video that it was exactly the same as DMZ when he was looking at it and playing it, just with zombies. So, you look at the zombies mode, especially the, the trailer, the gameplay, it really is copy and paste DMZ with zombies. That's really all it is. So, they really brought over and utilized everything at base of DMZ, missions, everything like that is still from DMZ. Um, they tweaked some things. Basically, they copy and pasted someone else's homework and edited some things here and there. So that's really what you're looking at with zombies from what we can see. Um, that being said, it seems like the framework for DMZ is obviously going to be within Modern Warfare 3. However, zombies, I think, is behind the paywall of purchasing the game. Zombies mode is not going to be a free-to-play mode, whereas Warzone will be. Um, and DMZ was also a free-to-play in Modern Warfare 2. So when we look at... The Warzone, or excuse me, the Warzone and the DMZ um, integration here in the Modern Warfare 3 engine being free to play. It was said that Modern Warfare 3s would not have Warzone. Warzone would be continued supported on Modern Warfare 2. However, there was a recent link, an image by Task Force Leakers Network on Twitter. I'll link his profile down below along with the post. There's, he was able to at least, he was the one that posted it. I don't know if he's the one that data mined it or who. I saw it float around a few different places. But someone was able to pull up um, from the from the data mines. They were able to pull up the DMZ, DMZ launch window in Modern Warfare 3. So the same, when you're loading in the Modern Warfare 3 beta, that same menu screen you're seeing with your operator on the hangar, everything like that. You're seeing that same thing, however, it's in the DMZ zone. So you're seeing, it even says DMZ. The same thing if you were launched DMZ in Modern Warfare 2. You have, you have the DMZ beta logo there. You have deploy into the exclusion zone. It says deploy exclusion zone, bottom left. The exact same thing you would see in Modern Warfare 2 when you go to launch this. You have mission objectives, and then you have zero of three missions selected in the top right. And you have your operator with your gun, giving ready to deploy. So this... Leads me to believe that one of two things, either A, obviously because Zombies is pretty much DMZ, the whole framework there was brought over and they added things like Zombies and new missions, things like that, that it makes sense that this would be in the game files. But I think the more logical conclusion there is that Zombies is going to be behind a paywall and down the road, Modern Warfare 2's DMZ is still within a beta window or a beta uh, phase. So down the road, as I said in previous videos, I think March to June timeline there of 2024, I think we're going to see uh, DMZ release. And when I think when it releases, it'll be out of beta at that point. Because you look at Modern Warfare 2019, they denied Battle Royale, denied Battle Royale, denied Battle Royale. You got into March, boom, Battle Royale dropped, um, you know, months after the game itself dropped. So to say there's going to be no DMZ... Um, and then to bring this over sometime between the March and June time frame, I think that sounds about right, especially because it is DMZ is already in the game with zombies. However, this would be the PvP element of it um, available for free to play. So I think DMZ is definitely a mode. You guys have been following the channel. That's all I play in Modern Warfare 2. I played a little bit of Battle Royale the first couple weeks. I think it dropped. Um, and then I went straight to DMZ exclusively. I don't play multiplayer. All I play is DMZ. That's the only thing I play in Modern Warfare 2 since probably end of November, early, early December of 2022. Oh my definitely my favorite mode. So when I heard it wasn't coming to Modern Warfare 3, definitely a little bit disappointed. And I think the Zombies mode, again, it looks really promising. It looks fun. However, the Zombies mode is just PvE, player versus environment. There's, there's no PvP element to it. It's you and a few other teams can either do your own thing or team up and fight the environment which consists of zombies and enemy pmc soldiers so 
I think that's just where it gets a little bit boring. The exciting part of uh, DMZ is the PvP element. The exciting part is doing the missions, fighting the AI, and then when you run into teams, you run into teams, and it just creates this exciting element. Same with Escape from Tarkov. However, DMZ was not able to really capture that same excitement in firefights, largely due to the player assimilation, um, driving you know, the vehicles, GLTVs, MRAP, six-man teams. A lot of that went on too long, and they didn't really focus on bettering the game and bringing it out of the beta phase. So I think allowing the next couple months after Modern Warfare 3's release, Infinity Ward still supporting DMZ, allowing a few more months of changes, updates, refining the game mode, they really need to look at separating it from a Battle Royale. It needs to be an extraction shooter, which is, I think when it launched, it was very good at that with no, no assimilation. You had three-man teams, and you were doing midget. Like, I think that's when it was at its best that first season. They kind of made some changes recently where you can't have six-man assimilation. You can only have four-man assimilation. However, I think things like the MRAP and things like that are just definitely an issue. Airstrikes, uh, UAVs, they really need to, to tweak that. And allowing them the next few months to do that before this ports over, kind of the same thing we're going to see with Warzone, before it becomes DMZ assimilates into Modern Warfare 3, um, I think it'll give them time to work that out. So I do believe we are going to see Modern Warfare 3 DMZ um, here down the road between the March and June timeline. Like I said, that'll give them time to work out any issues, fix any assimilation bugs. Do they keep UAVs, things like that? Um, what do they do with all these things, different vests, UAV towers? How do they refine the gameplay? What do they do with assimilation? And how do they make it a at its core an extraction shooter? You can't compare to Escape from Tarkov, but however... Tarkov definitely, and some other shooters out there, extraction shooters, definitely have a good um, extraction core to it, where DMZ has become further and further away from a, uh, an extraction shooter, and it's become more of essentially just a smaller version of Warzone, for the most part, where teams are just hunting other players. So they need to get away from that, and by teams, I mean large teams. Even at this point, it's still you're getting four-man or just teams being friendly together and doing things. So you need, there needs to be something there where they're getting away from that focus needs to be on fresh missions it needs to be on um, pvp should be a little bit more sporadic i think uh, maybe less teams on the map bigger map something like that um no assimilation something something they need to do something and I, i'm not going to say i have the answers because i don't but allowing the next few months to kind of get that game mode where it should be in a more comfortable spot where they can support it better where they're not no longer really supporting modern warfare 2 as much and focusing on DMZ, and then that's going to be ported into Modern Warfare 3, and that's where it'll take over. I think that's what we're going to see here. Um, DMZ, at this point, especially when Modern Warfare 3 launches, there's really not going to be any reason for me to go back and play DMZ, just because you're not going to have the new weapons, you're not going to have the new operators, and at this point, DMZ is getting a little bit stale because a lot of the missions haven't really updated. Um, there's not going to be those new weapons, new operators. So to have a fresh slate in Modern Warfare 3, all the new weapons available for Modern Warfare 3, all the operators, all the old weapons for Modern Warfare 2, all the attachments, operators, all of that, new missions, a fresh wipe, fresh slate, that's going to be big for this game mode. So I think we're going to be seeing DMZ come back here. Let me know your thoughts down below. Like I said, it's not going to be at launch. Obviously, it's not going to be the same time Warzone launches in December for Season 1. I think we're going to see DMZ sometime between March and June, and that's where we're going to see it. Or it's going to release kind of as a... Kind of as a standalone free to play thing down the road, which would be the same thing as ported into Modern Warfare 3. But we are going to see this game mode come back. They didn't put this much time and effort, and there's clearly a big core audience to it, and it is a lot of fun. So they, the one thing they need to do is just refine it. There's definitely some issues with the game mode. They fix those, assimilate it into Modern Warfare 3, relaunch it, fresh slate. It's going to be a lot of fun, and I, I really, really hope they do it because Zombies, as cool as it looks, I'm definitely going to be maining Warzone in Modern Warfare 3. Um, but my PvP and just the whole tense do missions, and if you do run into players, that heart, your heart rate gets going type um, battles, that's what DMZ was good for, especially in the beginning. So to have that all over again, if they can refine this game, I think is going to be really, really big. Let me know your thoughts down below about that. Do you want to see DMZ make a return here in, um, in Modern Warfare 3? Like I said, I'm pretty confident it's going to happen. All the new weapons just be so good. The new recoil system, visual recoil, the new movement. I think that would be huge for this game. Um, and I can notice it. You know, just playing Modern Warfare 3 beta last weekend and then going back to DMZ. 
the movement and everything like that. I was a big proponent of slower movement for Modern Warfare 2, all this and that. I don't think it was executed correctly, and it didn't feel, it doesn't feel right. I think the movement system, Modern Warfare 3, the recoil, everything like that feels really good the way it is. So to have DMZ brought into what is Modern Warfare 3's gameplay style, all the weapons, all the operators, I think that's going to be huge and would really, really make this mode. Um, take off. So let me know your thoughts down below. Memberships are live on the channel. We have Asan V07, PDX Jake, Ram Ramster, K Dog 350, Strike and Storm, Man Named Nobody, Aiden Flores, This Justin, FPS Cannon Fodder, and Noodly Boy O. If you guys want to join up, the join button should be there. The link is also down below in the description. We have three different tiers. We're going to be launching merchandise here before the launch of Modern Warfare 3. All support definitely helps. But again, best way to support the channel, like the video. Subscribe to the channel, comment, watch the ads, and share. Till next time, this is Buff New Gaming with DMZ is definitely coming to Modern Warfare 3, and it's going to drop randomly, and we're not going to have any clue it's coming. Same with Warzone, dating Modern Warfare 2019. Till next time, Buff New Gaming, out.